about two years ago I did a video on a wheel bearing driver's side. Here we are two years later, I looked it up. I need a driver's side wheel bearing, it is shot. So we are driving now 13 miles because the store that I found it from is willing to warranty it because it was a three year warranty. All week I've been driving to work 40 minutes back and forth and this rubbing noise I finally discovered was the wheel bearing. Now when we get there, I'll show you how I found out that it was the wheel bearing. Um, I'm getting on the highway now, hoping the wheel doesn't fly off. Let's get it. All right, here it is. I'm gonna show you guys just how bad this is. So let me get you on the tripod here and we will uh, start tearing into it. See that? That is all bearing. No wonder we're shaking. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to take the wheels off and brakes. All right, mine were 22. I took all eight of them off. Now this should come right off. Now, since we just did this not too long ago, it shouldn't be too bad to take apart. So, then we'll grab those 19s back there. Take the whole caliper bracket and everything off as one assembly. So, big socket for this. Uh, I don't have the size, it's at the shop. I left too much of a hurry, so I need to find a way to get this off without breaking these teeth off. So, we'll get it. All right, so we got the nut off, which requires this behemoth here. One and 11 sixteenths, three quarter adapter to half inch drive. This thing pulled it off immediately. Nothing else I had did it. Ooh. This guy to the rescue. We didn't have the tool, so. That's in my shop box at the shop, and that doesn't help me here, so. Now that that's off, I'm gonna get these bolts back here with the impact. Yeah, we'll have to break <laughs> out the beefier gun. So that it doesn't come off. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> Here it goes. Now you don't want to let this hang, so I'm not. It might fall, but oh well. So, now we can pull the rotor off. Bolts. All right, so now you're gonna to want to get these bolts back here. These can be fun, but I took them out before, so we should be able to get them just fine. Nope. All right, so uh, you have to turn the wheel one way or the other to get yeah. this out. Now the best way after you get these bolts out, what you'll want to do is you'll want to put a socket or something on the end and like hit it off of something so that when you turn the wheel, it'll push the push this out for you. So I'll show you guys that once I get all the bolts loose. Okay, so now you'll see that your wheel bearing is out. What you do is take the last bolt out. Um, I have one left in here, and then you're gonna wanna take your ABS, unplug it, because the new sense, the new wheel bearing comes with a new ABS. So I'm gonna do that now. Here is my bearing here. Like, it doesn't even wanna feel that, dude. And then it's got side to side play. Josh, feel that. See how you feel about that. Is that, yeah, is that is that supposed to spin like that? No. <laughs> Now, uh, yeah, no, you don't grease these. This is a fixed unit, the new one. So we're gonna take this in, go get this swapped out. Yes, it's under warranty. Two year warranty, I don't gotta spend $200 today. Other than on other stuff. But yeah, that's not the point of this video. So yeah, we're gonna swap this out. All right, we just went and got the new one. This is how it's supposed to spin, nice and easy. You know, not too much, but it's definitely not 
very much resistance. So uh, we're gonna slap this on and uh, this is probably gonna look like this after a week, but you know what? We still got another year and a half on this warranty. So hopefully this one doesn't fail. Hopefully the other one doesn't fail. I'll probably check the other one while I'm over here, but so we'll get this slapped on. Turn the wheel to get these back bolts, it makes it so much easier, hit it with an impact. Um, I like my half inch drive swivel, so now you're gonna wanna route your ABS line correctly. Slam that back in there. Run it all the way up through, and then uh, we're gonna put the rotor and the caliper back. Quit losing them, maybe. <laughs> what? All right, so don't be like me and accidentally hit the brakes to shut your truck off um, when you take the caliper off. But if you don't, you can throw this back on. If you do hit the brakes and you don't have a tool to do this, I took a uh, 23 and 24 millimeter socket and smashed them in between the brake pads and it released it. It's not the preferred method. There's a lot of uh, backyard mechanics and alternative methods to fixing something that you screwed up, but it did work and uh, we're throwing everything back on now. So all I did was take the bracket off, which is two 19 millimeter bolts. Best bet, turn the wheel to the left, throw an impact behind it and then hit it on, then straighten your wheel, shut the truck off. So. All right, so now that that's all done, now we're gonna throw the wheel back on it. Eh, it's gonna need to go pretty high. All right, fine, I'm getting 35s. Fine. Come back from a distance. Tell me that doesn't look sick. <laughs> <laughs> That looks, you know, I wish I could take another one off. That's perfect. Get some 35s. I'd probably get 33s, honestly. I'm gonna say 50. They even I'm, fit. I'm gonna say 100 likes on this video and you'll get 35s for this. I don't wanna get 35s for it. 100 likes, come on. I don't ever get likes. Y'all y'all really just like. dislike this stuff. I don't wanna put 35s on it. 100 likes, 35s. What do I get out of it? And he's like 35. 35s? <laughs> 33s. 35s look better. 33, come on. Whatever you guys do, this is a crucial step. Make sure you put that on. Six. So 14 Dugga Duggas. That's two. How many Ugga Duggas? All of them. See, that's how it should be. This thing wobbled, you'll see it in the video, but this thing wobbled pretty good. So I'm gonna throw the cotter pin in there and get this thing going. Yes, you All right guys, so that pretty much does it for the wheel bearing install. Hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys learned something. Uh, if you need to follow through, go back and do everything, feel free to use this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to dislike, unsubscribe, and leave a hate comment. Penis. And thank this guy for showing up. Have a good one. All right, so we just did the other side, and when it rains, it rains harder. This is side number two.